What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking in from Discovery Cove today to see a little bit of Infinity Falls construction update and as we can see right here there are loads of dirt all in this storage lot where Mako used to be. We're going to walk around and show a little bit more here. Just a little further down we can see a fence surrounding all the dirt and I'm expecting some parts for Infinity Falls to show up pretty soon. We'll let you know where they actually end up being but I'm not sure if it's going to be here at this storage lot or somewhere else. Looks like Falcon's Fury is here too. Well enough looking at dirt, we have made our way over to SeaWorld Orlando where we are going to check out the construction site for Infinity Falls and anything else going on. And it's a little bit chilly today, in fact we're experiencing Florida winter. It's like 70 degrees and you're in a jacket or something? This is ridiculous. We're not like, like Yetis over here. But anyway, we're going to head inside the park, maybe catch a show or something like that. We'll see what happens. Man, I cannot say enough how beautiful it is today, and there was no way to get through security or through the turnstiles, and we're on our way inside now. The Halloween Spooktacular is all over, and literally these are going up right now. We have the lights with the snowmen for Christmas celebration coming up very soon. The park doesn't seem too busy, but it does seem very busy over here at the Dolphin Nursery as they are doing a little bit of a show. The dolphins are having some fun right now. Dolphins are going ham. I has a fish. I has a fish. I has a fish. Yeah, they'll be there all day. All day. Did you want to add the photo kiosk around here? Bye guys, see you. Bye guys. Hi there. Have a great day. Oh, look at the fish. So we just talked a little bit about the Christmas celebration and here is the lineup for the fall events. Of course we had Halloween Spooktacular just in. We have Guy Harvey Weekend which is going to be December 9th and 10th. And then we have Christmas Celebration which is going to be November 24th through December 31st. More Christmas decorations and we have a sign here saying Sea of Trees with some interesting facts. Like there's 8 miles of garland use and then we have the trees themselves over here out on the water. And they've been here for several weeks now. I wonder if there's going to be an upgrade. I know last year they did some upgrades. Who knows? And then just off to the side over here, I see a crane for Infinity Falls. And here's a closer look at some of the facts for the Sea of Trees. Decorations going up all over the place, even these flags right here on the light poles. So beautiful blue skies, light winds, any chance Sky Tower is going to be open today? No, it's closed again. Every time I come here I have the worst luck. One of the main midways here leading over to Mako has been decorated as well. And even some merchandise now. We have lights starting at $10. And they're really cool looking. I do like these. We have some snow penguins, it looks like, down over here. Cute little plush. Anybody up for a ride on Mako? I am. Or have any other medical condition that might be aggravated by the future. They're only running one train here at Mako, but that's not bad. Considering the line, there's only literally one train as well. at Infinity Falls from Mako's Lift Hill. We can see the crane in the air and a bunch of digging all over the site. But we don't get a long view because now we're going down the drop.
coaster hair. Not bad, eh? And of course, you know, just down from Mako, we have the Nautilus Theater, but we have some blue walls up now surrounding the entrance area. So I'm wondering if this is for Infinity Falls or just to uh, kind of cover this up while they do something else. Well, hello there, Infinity Falls. And unfortunately, we can't get too much of an aerial view of you other than from Mako's lift hill because the Sky Tower is closed, but we still have the walls here. And up on the top of the walls, we have some garland and possibly some lights, it looks like. Right there, yes. So a little bit of decorations. We have a crane up in the air over here. And from what we know, they're doing a lot of digging. Of course, we saw the dirt at the very beginning of the video. And hopefully, we're going to have the troughs and everything else coming together very soon. We'll let you know. And there's a closer look at some of those Christmas lights up on the wall for Infinity Falls. Something else to point out right here on the midway, we have obviously the different color right there for the concrete. And that is because there's a pipe right over here leading to the reservoir, probably so whenever they dig down, they can pump all the water out of the ground over to here. There's some new signage up on the wall here. So it says Three Kings Day, which is brand new, a timeless tradition. It's gonna be January 1st through January 6th. Yet another event following the Three Kings, we have Praise Wave, and that is gonna be January 13th through February 10th. And what is this that I see in the trees? Tons of lights and decorations too, which is really awesome. Last year and many years before, we had them all around the hospitality area, but now it looks like they're gonna continue the tradition with the lights out on the trees here. There's only one Shamu show today, and we can see the stadium is beyond packed. signage all over the place and now we have one showing off the ice show again November 24th through December 31st and there's even a Christmas quick queue in photo key for only $29 over the last couple weeks Kraken has had some downtime but it looks like they've got it back up and running as we can see the ride right now with guests yeah it doesn't appear there's much of a wait for Kraken today is our chariot and we're doing front row i don't think i'm gonna do the vr this time just traditional kraken
tal? <laughs> ¿Te gustó? Sí. Despite it being winter in Florida, Journey to Atlantis is currently open. Well guys, that is gonna do it for another general construction update here from SeaWorld Orlando. Infinity Falls is moving along very nicely and crews are doing a lot of groundwork. They've dug a huge pit and I'm thinking that may be for the lift area for Infinity Falls. A lot of events have been announced for uh, next year and uh, of course we are excited for them. We're gonna cover them. We're gonna have more updates from here guys. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem and we will see you out on the Midway.